Hi gang, this is uh, Jonathan Eder and uh, the piano lesson once again, uh, talking to you and from the lovely city of Portland, Oregon. And uh, when I think of summertime, I think of summertime blues. So uh, I've gotten some requests for me to play, uh, and I thought, why not? So I'm going to, I think, play a little bit. I'm going to play some blues for you. But then I want to talk about uh, different uh, ways to approach the blues chord progression. So. Uh, some more traditional uh, ways to play the chord changes and then to kind of add a jazz flavor to it uh, and give you some ideas of some chord substitutions and various colorations that you can use and all kinds of things. So uh, with that I'll just do a little bit of playing and uh, uh, I will um, I will uh, meet you guys uh, back here in a minute. Okay.
So, uh, a little sampling, a little sampling of the blues. Now, I wanted to share with you some of the different ways that I kind of approached the 12 bar blues. And uh, of course, you can ask me questions too, but um, for those, just, just to be thorough, right, we want to we want to just write out we're an F. So uh, we got basically uh, F, F7, B flat 7, F7, and that's repeated, and then B flat 7, and that's repeated, and then F7, and that's repeated, and then C7, and that's repeated, let's say, and then F. Okay. So that's kind of the most basic way to, to, to approach that. Uh, what you can do, though, for instance, it, when you go to the, uh, so just again, just to be clear, this is, this is the one chord, right? This is the four chord, okay? And this is the five chord, all right? And that's, and that's, that's your, your, your 12 bar blues, right? Um, If you're approaching the four chord, well, one way to do that is to use the two five in that key. So F becomes the the F chord becomes the five of four. That's what we call our our secondary dominant, and then going to the four, and then you can also use the C minor seven. Okay, so that's that's our that's that's basically a two five in the key of B flat. S E C O N D A R Y. That's our secondary dominant. Okay, that's an important concept to know. In the key of F, five C is the dominant, right? But basically, the whole idea is that we're kind of modulating to the key B flat. Uh, another thing you can do over here is rather than just stay on the B flat major, you could play B flat minor, or for that matter, you could play B flat minor, uh, E flat seven, two counts on each one, right? That's a two five in, uh, it's in, in another key, or it's, it's actually a two five in the key of A flat, but it's what we call a deceptive, D-E-C-E-P-T-I-V-E, -E -E, a deceptive cadence, right? Potentially uh, uh, kind of making our ear think we're going somewhere else than, than we're not. And uh, back, back to our F. And instead of, instead of going to the, right to the C chord, we could approach that by playing a G minor 7 and then a C7 and that would be a 2-5 that, that, that's a 2-5 in, in the key of F and then over here rather than just st st staying on the F we could uh, we could do a few things but we could do a, a, what's called a turnaround T-U-R-N-A-R-O-U-N-D a turnaround one uh, 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 let's see, uh, I got an extra, I, I, I dropped one bar here, uh, there we go, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, so we could do a turnaround, F7, two counts, D7, that's the sixth chord, right, uh, G minor 7, C7, 2, 5, Okay, so what does that sound like? All right, well, instead of just, instead of just playing uh, one, four, and down here I'm just playing a simple bass line, kind of fifths, sixth, seventh, to the B flat, again, using the two five, uh, one, two, five, two, five one right or two five one those are ninths two now i'm actually doing something that i didn't tell you guys about this chord right here 
it's it's a substitution for the F7 chord. It's actually a what we call T-R-I-T-O-N-E, a tritone substitution for the F7 chord. That's B7. So what you do is you wherever you see a dominant chord, you can substitute another uh, chord. Uh, a tritone away. So what's a tritone? Three whole steps. Whole step above F, G, A. One, one whole step, two whole steps, three whole steps, that's B. Notice B is in the very smack dab in the middle of the octave there. But So instead of playing F7, I could play B flat 7. And that works just fine. That's, that, you could also consider that to be a chromatic C-H-R-O-M-A-T-I-C, a chromatic passing chord, P-C, we'll say chromatic passing chord in there. So uh, playing, playing the F, B flat, uh, B nat, B, B7, B flat 7, and that note there, while I'm retaining the F, that makes, that gives the B7 a flat 5. So it, it, it make, gives it that sound. You could also call it a sharp 11 if you want. B7 sharp 11 if, if you want. Okay, but that's, that's another sound. So you're playing F, B flat, F. One, two, B7, the B flat. So I'm playing the B7 for two counts. Or again, you could I could have the C7 in there, F, B flat, F, C, B7, B flat. That's, that's another option. Then rather than staying on the B flat 7 for, two more, for four more bar beats, I could play the B flat for one count. Then the B flat minor, E flat seven, deceptive cadence back to the F. That's another possibility. And you know, rather than going back to the F all the time and playing that in the root, it's really nice to hear that chord in an inversion. So let's say B flat seven, another possibility rather than this, you can go up a half step, play B diminished seven, all right? Diminished and going to the F7, but rather than playing at root position, play it in an inversion. So C is in the bass. So you're playing B flat, B diminished, and then up a half step to the C, and you're playing, playing that with the C in the bass. That kind of, that, that sounds a little better, I think. And then you have your your, your two, five, six, D7, G minor, C7. You could also use, instead of the G minor, use G7. You can use a dominant chord there, that's fine. That would be five of five. That would be five, you could use all dominants. So F7, D7, G7, C7, and then back to the F, all right? Uh, instead of the F, D7, G minor, I'm using ninth chords here, ninth, 13, and... Now, I'm doing some runs. I'm doing different sounds here. So I'm playing the notes of the blues scale. Right. Uh, fingering, by the way, guys, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, all right, that's a pretty typical fingering, F, A flat, uh, you know, I'm going to erase all this, but I'll, I'll uh, if you have questions, you can email me and I'll send you some things to help you, but, you know, the, the F, the F, uh, the blues, the blues scale, all right, the thing about playing the blues is, you could stay on the same scale. You know, my, my pen's running out here. I gotta get another pen. Give me a second. I'm gonna throw this one out. Um, you can stay on the same scale almost and, and use the same sound, or you could use different blue scales. But let's just talk about the F. Um, one, two, three, four, five uh, lines. So you got F, uh, A flat, B flat. B natural, 
C, uh, E flat. Uh, pardon me. Yes, yeah, right. Uh, what am I here? <laughs> right. Uh, C. Okay. E. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, that's right. C, and then E flat, and then. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I'm looking at this line up here. It's ridiculous. E flat, and then uh, F. Okay, so F, A flat, B flat, B natural, uh, C, E flat, and F. So in terms of scale degrees, one flat three, flat four, uh, sharp four, or if you you could be C flat, five, flat seven, and then you're back to the the one again. That's that's our that's the F blues scale right there. And there's your fingering. And, the, and again, just as a general rule, the moment you play that scale, get that thumb under, okay? Get that thumb under. The moment you're done with the thumb, and get it, get it under and prepared, ready for that next note, right? And in the blues, you play clusters of notes and... More of a gospely sound, maybe. Uh, that's called tremolo. You can do a chord, you can do an octave, you can do a minor third. All of those sounds. You can do a cluster of notes kind of going back and forth. In, in, going down the scale. Now that F scale works on the B flat and it works on the C. You can also, when you get to the B flat chord, you can play a. You can play the B flat blues scale. And when you get to the C. So you could play unique scales. You could play the C blue scale on the C chord and the B flat blue scale on the B flat chord, or just stick with one one basic sound. And just to be uh, thorough again, we'll just talk quickly the the uh, the B flat blues scale. For you guys that wanna don't know and wanna know uh, uh, B flat uh, 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 D flat. E flat, E natural, F, A flat, and then B flat. So uh, just right out B flat, D flat, E flat, E natural. Uh, I put an F there. <laughs> F, A flat, and then your B flat. So that's. And notice one, two, three, one, two, three, and then I, I'm ending up on the four. Now another another way to do it, you could do two. That's but I I, 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 I would probably just do this one, two, three, one, two, three. And I would put the black finger on the on the on the black note. You can do it, you know, they, it's not first choice, but it's it's definitely doable, okay? And then the C blues scale, a uh, little bit different. Um, you want to do C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat, and C. C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat, and C. And the thing is a little different here. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. So it's a group of four notes and a group of three notes, let's say. And notice again, I'm getting that thumb under. Right? Getting that thumb under in the left hand for your, your C blues scale. Uh, playing those clusters, those groupings of notes, right where that, that, that blue note, that tritone. 
Um, also, uh, when you're playing your blues, uh, walking tenths. That's kind of that's kind of a nice sound. So you transition from a chord F, B flat. Notice how I went up by step there. I didn't just go right back to the B flat. You might do that if you're playing closer to rock and roll, but this is a little bit nicer. Chromatic, chromatic F sharp seven, stepping up diatonically. F sharp, F seven, G minor, uh, G sharp diminished. Uh, F again with A in the bass. Down to the sixth chord, walking tenths, and I could play the uh, C. Also, parallel sixths. Uh, you hear that a lot in rock and roll, country western, parallel sixths. Parallel thirds. Uh, now I could, I could, of course, I could speed it up. Also, I'm doing this sometimes, right? I'm grabbing this note with the pet with the pedal, or sometimes I just play it short. But that that's our stride piano. So you're 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 playing it on the bass. You're, you're actually doing the job of three people, right? You're playing, you're the job of the bass player, the guitar player, and then the brass section or whatever, your keyboard or your, your horn section. Watch this ending F, F with A in the bass, going down to E flat, B flat, going up a half step, C, and then uh, so it sounds like this. I mean, that's that's a good ending you know you always want to have some kind of ending in mind when you're doing this um, and I'm playing rather slow I could play faster I suppose I mean but I don't know what the point is but you know I, I... notice I'm playing my left hand real light and short in contrast to the right hand I'm playing it almost like more like an organ I'm playing longer notes as a, in contrast and and I'm bringing out the, the top note also and then on occasion I'm punctuating the left hand See how I brought that out? So it, it sounds like a big band where you have kind of like a call and response in in a sense. So you're sounding you're sounding more like you're sounding more like a band. So I'm just throwing a lot of stuff out at you just to give you a sense of all the possibilities that exist beyond the conventional one four five uh, chord patterns, right? You have your secondary dominance, your deceptive cadences, your tritone substitutions, your walking tenths, your stride, uh, and over the top of that you have your, let's just your, say your blue scales, you could have the blue scales again track with each chord or just keep the same scale going as a constant and make the left hand the variable. And 
just texturally making the left hand sound different than the right. Short, light, long, louder. Whew, okay, uh, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get going and uh, let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, again, I'm Jonathan Eder. This is the piano lesson. Uh, it's a wonderful summer, June, and uh, I hope you guys have a great week. Okay, take care. See you soon.